Hello, my name is Roland Goschke. I'm with Dioptic in Rheinheim, Germany, and I will be talking about automated scratch dig inspection, advantages of replacing manual visual inspection. Well, as we all have it now is a manual visual inspection for all kinds of different optical parts, which is quite flexible. You can run any part by a human inspector and teach him what to look for and what are the critical defects. However, it is quite subjective because, you know, if, if you run one part by three different inspectors, you may get two same results and one different result. Mm, and it was also challenging and it depends on concentration and fatigue. So if you run a critical part by one inspector in the morning and by the same inspector in the late afternoon, you may get different results, which, you know, is a quality control problem at, at the end of the day. It is if you require a written report, also time consuming. Inspectors need to draw uh, marks on, on, on maps of the part. And even if you do that, you typically would not have photos, microscopic photos of the defects. Um, the whole thing is uh, associated with the annual cost between 40 to 60K for a company. Can be even more if you, if you also include other costs like the work play, uh, working place costs. On the other hand, um, as it should be, it should be an automated machine inspection in place that is not depending on human beings. As you can see here, we're doing an inspection automatically of small parts sitting in the tray on the next Y stage. Uh, we're looking at each part with four individual measurements and stitch the entire part together from four high resolution measurements with a small field of view. And we're automatically going from one, um, from one part to the next one. This is a quite flexible system. It can be trained to all different kinds of products, all different kinds of optical elements. Um, it uses objective criteria. So if you run the same part by the machine in the morning or in the evening, you'll always get the same results according to the norm or any other requirements that you can define or can have defined in the software. It is reliable and reproducible. So you can have like one part on three different machines. You would get three identical results from those three different machines. And um, the machine actually generates a test report for each and every part that includes the, the microscope images of the defects that it found and a map and a histogram. Um, there is almost no uh, maintenance cost throughout the year for a system like that. Um, and the initial cost of around 120K really pay off after two or three years latest. However, we need to notice that the machine cannot clean. A human inspector does two things. He inspects and he cleans. And the machine is actually depending on having uh, samples that are clean. So it would have to sit in a, in a flow box or in a clean room. So if we put something like 10 by 12 lenses in a hexagonal packaging on the tray, we can do 120 lenses in one go. Um, and so this is just an example. You can have larger samples or smaller samples, and so then the numbers vary. The stage is about 205 by 205 millimeters uh, moving area. And so it can do, depending on the sack height of the elements, can do uh, one tray in something like between 30 minutes or 60 minutes, depending on how much vertical uh, range we need to cover. Mm we would have a specific tray for each uh, sample type that is associated with a specific measurement profile. So there is no further alignment or adjustments necessary in the software. Uh, so untrained people can use the instrument and just swap the trays and start the measurement with a single press of a button. What type of defects can we look for? Well, everything that's contained in the ISO or defined by the ISO 10, 110-7 norm, which are small DX um, and long scratches, everything that's longer than two millimeters is, is defined as being a scratch. It also requires to look for concentrations, which we can automatically calculate uh, inside the software. And of course, you can also look for edge chips. 
Now, the, the typical result is a comprehensive report for the tray. As you can see here, there's a, a, a map of the tray with the good elements noted in green and the bad elements noted in red. So untrained people can sort out the green ones for further processing final assembly or whatever your next process step is. And the red ones would probably go through a cleaning process and then run a second time by the instrument because it could be that they failed because of, of dust particles on the surface of, uh, of the parts. And then there is a, a specific pass-fail uh, report for each sample saved on, on the machine's uh, computer or on the server. Um, which has a map indicating where defects were found. And it also shows video images of the biggest defects. Um, and the first two um, images are the biggest defects that it found. And then on the next pages, you would have images of smaller defects. And it also has a histogram included, which is very helpful for the process engineers uh, trying to improve the manufacturing processes. How actually do we do this? We run a what people call a dark field illumination where we illuminate the sample from outside the viewing angle of the lens. So any light that's reflected off the sample um, is not co collected by our camera system. However, if there is anything on the surface that's like a defect or a scratch or a particle for that matter, it reflects light into the, into the lens system. And so we can see defects as bright spots on a black background. Um, this is used for as a basis for our software analysis that identifies the defects and measures their size. Also vertically, um, we're having a, a vertical field of uh, depth of field of something like 100 mic micrometers. So we, for, for anything that is curved, we actually do a vertical stacking. Um, in order to have every defect on each position of a curved lens surface in focus. We can do spheres and aspheres or any other uh, freeform surface because we actually don't really look at the surface. We look at whatever uh, has a defect and scatters light into the lens. How can we actually classify for defect sizes? Well, the system uses a, a calibrated optical system which we calibrate using a reference sample that has uh, defects and sort of scratches of known size. The scratch width is known and the diameter of the point defects is known because we write them with a focused iron beam. Now then, with each Argus system before it leaves uh, dioptic to the customer, we calibrate the system with one of these reference samples. So we measure the grade and um, uh, compare this what the reference grade of that de defect would be. So with that, we get a calibration. And it is interesting to note that the repeatability of the system, even for you know very small defects of uh, one by 0.04, is still 96%. And this is a value that is quite high compared to what human inspectors can achieve for smaller defects of this size. How does it look like? So this is the Argus Matrix 200 unit that has a moving range of 200 by 200 millimeters. You can see the monitor with the control software next to it. So if you have engineers using that instrument for uh, one by one measurements, they can directly look at a map of the defects and at the video images of the defects that the system found. Um, it is also available in moving ranges of 300 by 300 millimeters, and even a 500 millimeter system is uh, available for very large samples. To sum it up, the machine inspection um, yields objective test results, and it is now state of the art. Um, so there is no reason to rely only on human inspectors anymore. Um, you can use such a system in a completely automated manner, um, but you can also use it as a lab system where you run individual samples and have full control about the software, illumination, setups and everything. Um, 
And as I said, the system is, the, the base system is available in 200 by 200 millimeters, but you can have like up to 300 by 300 or 500 by 500 millimeter systems for larger numbers of samples or for uh, huge samples that need to be inspected. Thank you very much.